All right, everybody, here is David Wilcox's resignation letter. Dear Brad and Kirsten, this letter is to inform you that I'll be resigning from Gaia as of the end of my term, and I'm requesting that I be allowed to exit before then. The sooner the better. For reasons I will now explain, as I state later in this letter, I do not wish to discuss this verbally, so please let me know in writing if my request will be honored. This has been, this will have been nearly six years of service. The equivalent of getting a PhD had I had been doing this work for college credits. I appreciate all that you have done for me in terms of getting my work out there without censorship, at least up to the most recent term. I have become profoundly uncomfortable with almost every aspect of this work environment and management structure, particularly as of FY 2018, the company as a whole seems to be having a severe psycho-spiritual crisis. My reasons for withdrawing are multifaceted. Out of a sense of respect, honesty, and self-preservation, I will share a few of them, though it is ultimately not a requirement that I do so. First of all, let me say that the so-called guy employee movement has nothing to do with Corey Good nor me. I have no idea who these people are. I have no idea why they asserted that Corey and I were both going to be leaving. They made that up. Leaving this job was only a last ditch resort until I saw the scope of damage that reputation is now suffering. Corey was concerned that you would think this movement had something to do with him or his legal actions. It does not. The grievance says that Corey has put in writing regarding how he was treated are absolutely legitimate and mirror my own. They also bear similarities in nature and spirit of the many complaints being made about guy employee movement by the guy employee movement, which is a condensed version of what we also see in secure online forms such as Glassdoor. The reason why everyone is yelling in your face is you. It is not a problem with them. I refuse to pretend otherwise any longer. These are the people who have been so deeply abused and crushed on the soul level that they feel no other choice but to cry out in agony. Desperate people are willing to take great risks, which is a very sad thing in this case. This is why I hope Corey's problems can be resolved without any public legal filings. There will be profoundly, <coughs> there is a profoundly deep problem with the entire way in which Guy is running. I do not believe it is fixable, nor do I wish to be involved in trying to fix it. If I were to enumerate all the things I've personally seen and witnessed and how they made me feel, this would be a very long letter. My goal is not to leave with any sense of bitterness, nor can I afford to be dragged into any litigation whatsoever, regardless of whether this company offers me the support of its attorneys or not. Ending my employment now is a much better alternative than continuing in this present environment. Regarding Corey's legal, Corey's legal actions, I do not have any need or desire to reach retain an attorney at this point. My goal is to have a peaceful private separation and get back to doing my own thing. It may be rough for a little while, but I need a clean break and fresh start. I have willfully ignored an enormous <clears throat> number of offensive, disrespectful, and abusive situations in order to do this job the last six years, primarily out of a sense of financial dependency that was my own weakness as I needed some time to grieve and take it easy after a devastating seven-year-old deal with my physically violent ex, which overlapped with my first three years on the job. I am now being overwhelmed with emails and written comments from people who have heard about the Gaia employee movement and are very upset about what they are learning. They are demanding that I leave this platform immediately and I can provide many examples to prove this point. <coughs> Upon request, the level of anger and disgust I am seeing in any one of these letters is deeply troubling. This is already starting to cause me significant career damage, and I will get it will get far worse if I don't do something about it fast. In the post Me Too era, this issue has explosive, devastating, and inevitable potential to do harm. Entertainment companies have never before seen have never before been so vulnerable to public uprisings and whistleblowers. This is uncharted territory and is very dangerous. So any of these alleged employees or journalists actually attempt to contact me directly, I am guaranteeing you, writing right now, I will have nothing to say to them, just as in the case of Corey's litigation, I want to remain completely uninvolved and neutral. This whole situation is terrifying to me in terms of what it could potentially do to the credibility and value of my entire life's work. The YouTube videos about this are proliferating. They cannot be silenced thanks to people's First Amendment rights. If you were to try to stop them, it would get much worse at a much faster speed. I am already seeing these videos getting tens of thousands of hits. The situation is on the verge of going viral in a big way. I can see it coming. I am being called out by name in many of these videos. People are wondering why I'm still involved and they are extremely angry. This is getting very, very ugly. My recommendation is for the company 
to accept my resignation as it will draw the teeth out of this movement, give them a perceived win, and allow you to move to more quickly return to business with offering your impressive collection of curated content and original programs. Otherwise, if I were to remain affiliated, the heat will grow exponentially. If I retain the job and refuse to comment, the damage to my career reputation could be nearly total. I have to look out for my own future. Your team had Tucker Collins send my wife a letter, which effectively amounts to a request for me to take your side in the battle in the public eye including video appearances. That is not something I wish to do nor am capable of doing. Why? Because several of the things uh, the guy employee movement has been saying are absolutely correct based on my first-hand eyewitness experience Which I do not ever want to share with the public The company has also attempted to upload a video to my YouTube channel that aggressively promotes Luciferianism namely s1 e1 of ancient civilizations. Well, even while guy supposedly has a policy of no religion ooh, at least <coughs> for my fellow colleagues and me I was tricked into participating in a very religious program that I do not want to have any affiliation with. This show is literally saying that God is evil and Lucifer is God, who ahem, also happens to be a reptilian alien. Seriously, how could this look? How would this look if it got dragged to the public eye, especially in the light of overwhelming online movement called Pizzagate? Wow, he just dropped a bomb on Gaia TV. <laughs> Season 1, Episode 1 of Ancient Civilizations. Wow. Millions of people are now working to identify Luciferian elements in our society, and they're murderously, and they are murderously angry about it. <clears throat> this is easily proven by the fact that Edgar Madison Welch walked into Comet Ping Pong Pizza in Washington, D.C. on December 4, 2016, and fired his assault rifle here, sentenced to four years in prison. Ooh, damn. Okay, got a link right here. I'll take a look at that later. Some have debated whether these Pizzagate claims are granted in reality or not, but that does not change the enormous danger that political activists in this arena are now posing to the accused. The potential damage to my career, reputation, and physical safety from the existence of ancient civil from the existence of ancient civilizations on Guy Network is massive. As I have been very outspoken in the public eye against Luciferianism and will continue to do so. Even worse, I had already written several investigative articles about Pizzagate on my website before ancient civilizations were released, making it clear that I believe these claims are largely based on provable facts. <coughs> the ancient civilizations show went forward in the guise network despite my public attestations of the evidence that pedophilia, human sacrifice, cannibalism, and Luciferianism are being practiced in elite circles. I thank God, the authentic Christian one, that this show did not get popular. Ooh. My unwillingness, my unwilling appearance in the show with this content could actually lead to someone attempting to murder me for religious reasons. Ooh. Just as almost happened at Comic Pizza. <clears throat> I already discussed this very serious threat against my life with Melissa Tittle, the producer of Ancient Civ, immediately after the release of the first transfer episodes. It is very heated in it was a very heated one-hour phone conversation. Therefore, the company was appraised at the very beginning that ancient civilization program was promoting. Therefore, the company was appraised at the very beginning that the ancient civilization was promoting news for against my very strong verbal request to the contrary and a complete disregard for my personal safety. Nonetheless, the marketing and production of this loose for propaganda has continued unabated. The second season went lighter with it, but most will begin with season one. This is why I am not willing or able to allow Gaia to access my YouTube channel every day. <laughs> All sense of trust and honor has been destroyed. Oh, oh my god, this is priceless. The video was minutes from going live before I kind of just stopped it. Oh my god. The company has, was well aware how I felt about the show. Had I had enough confidence in my ability to earn money through other means, I really should have quit right then. <clears throat> there have been a sizable number of egregious, egregious deal breakers like this that I have overlooked. In my opinion, ancient civilizations is Luciferian propaganda disguised as entertainment. Luciferianism is a religion of the elite globalist group I oppose. Luciferianism is commonly used as an excuse for pedithereal human sacrifice, cannibalism, and genocidal aspirations among 
other very unsavory things. This freedom is always is already being blatantly promoted in Hollywood films, music videos, television shows, video games, and war ceremonies and ceremonies. Most people are not identifying the symbols and themes associated with the propaganda, some of which are directly found in FBI databases for human trafficking, yet none of this loose for propaganda has ever been has ever been as direct as the religious perspective that was articulated in ancient civilizations. Ooh. I understand that some people have a more moderate or polite view of Luciferism where the sick and murderous implications of peace against are included. Oh no. Either way, I want no connection to it whatsoever. I was greatly disappointed to see Graham Hancock come out of the closet about his Lucifer beliefs in the show. Ooh. The resulting heated emails I exchanged with him are basically destroyed our personal and professional relationship. And we have not spoken again. Damn. The two. I'm not going to say it. Because they're last names. I was going to make a joke about the, the last names. But whatever. Okay. Um. The ongoing promotion of Lucifer on Gaia is also an enormous <laughs> Hancock versus Wilcock. Okay, moving on. The uh, ongoing promotion of Lucifer on Gaia is also enormous corporate liability in the light of some of the claims GM Gaia Entertainment Movement or Gaia Employee Movement is attempting to make. We are potentially days away from armies of internet dorks. <laughs> Finding anxious if and using it as evidence against me and this company as a whole. <laughs> oh, he could have said noobs instead of dorks. It would have been equally as funny. Okay, particularly since I repeatedly appear in it and therefore appear to be endorsing his contents. Oh no, this is too funny. Furthermore, I have witnessed multiple cases in which a commercial for Lucifer, I mean ancient, <laughs> is burned, it actually says this shit, is burned into the end of my show on Cosmic Disclosure. This is tantamount to a propaganda war against my own following, <laughs> which is almost entirely Judeo-Christian. It also violates my own religious freedom since I publicly made it very clear that I do not think, uh, that I do not think the God of the Abraham religions is a demiurge that is luring everyone to a soul trap and that Lucifer, oh my God. Yeah, so he doesn't think, uh, he doesn't agree with the Luciferian things, basically. Okay. Um, the ancient civilizations is tantamount to a legal and intellectual argument in favor of Lucifer. It is easily, it's easily proven since every episode I watched of season one and never really steer the viewer back to the idea that God is evil and Lucifer is good. Oh my God. This conclusion is absolutely indisputable for anyone who watches the show. Multiple comments I've read after its release indicated that viewers were deeply disturbed, if not horrified. Thus, a silent war caught resort where subscribers simply refuse to continue watching. <laughs> While you have the right to practice or promote any religion you choose, you have violated my own constitutional rights to freedom of religion by using your power over me as my employer to make it appear that I support and endorse these bizarre conclusions. <laughs> Furthermore, the company represents itself to me as a positive spiritual organization that promotes health, wellness, transformation, and seeking truth. I brought it in my top. <clears throat> I brought in my top insiders with the explicit. <clears throat> Understanding that we were all unified in our desire to oppose an elite globalist cabal that worshipped Lucifer. This was certainly the political and religious stance of our main producer at the time, J. Wild Weedner. And we worked <coughs> with that principle as our defining creed. To then <coughs> edit Corey Good <coughs> and me. Both into a show that aggressively attacks God as evil and Lucifer as good constitutes a breach of the contract that I signed as an employee. This could furthermore be legitimately considered as fraud because the employer grossly misrepresented the political and spiritual beliefs of the company to me at the outset and entrapped me into a potentially life-threatening situation. Wow. <clears throat> 
had I had known that these religious beliefs would be so aggressively promoted with commercials for ancient Civ dropped in at the end of many Cosmic Disclosure episodes, I would have never agreed to work for a guy in the first place, nor can I feel comfortable involving any of my colleagues any further. This puts me in a very difficult situation, both spiritually and with my public platform, and could force me to explain my side of the story if the career damage spreads. I must retain the right to defend myself and state my spiritual position in the event that this internet chatter becomes the predominant topic about me that my larger audience focuses on it is my hope that a quick and quiet polite exit will make all this unnecessary out of all of the many things that have greatly upset me nothing has caused me more distress than seeing how badly my colleague emory smith has been deceived Ooh, made distinct verbal promises with various witnesses were made to him only to be completely broken damn in fact, the lack of integrity in Guy's verbal agreements is so high that I no longer trust anything that anyone in this company says to me unless I get it in writing. Oh my god. That is why I did not wish to discuss this letter on the phone. At one point, Emery was told that there were five different ways in which he could be offered a six-figure job in exchange for moving to Boulder. At other points, I was told there would be no problem in giving him such things as a signing bonus, production fee, advance, money against future events, etc. I was also promised a finder's fee for bringing new insiders in the program. I have never seen a dime of this for any of them, despite being directly responsible for Pete Peterson, Emery Smith, and other top insiders risking their lives to provide their testimony to God. It is an absolute legal fact that each of these people only came forward because they trusted me and they were severely mistreated by this company. This has caused incredible ongoing damage to my existing relationships with my insiders, including David Adair. Had I gotten any of this promised finders fee, I would have gladly shared it with Emily Smith to keep him and Olivia alive. Oh my god. This is just getting worse and worse. Gaia is just oof. I knew something was shady with them. Another, as another example, I captured Pete Peterson's entire life story in a series of episodes for Cosmic to close in August 2016, only to be told by Gaia Management. They will be buried indefinitely. Pete is now drugged and on his deathbed in a nursing home after having had a stroke and is no longer mentally or physically capable of performing an interview ever again. Oh, damn. At least 25 episodes or half a year's worth of amazing, relevant programming has been suppressed. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Wow. I've had no say in the matter whatsoever. As far as I'm concerned, Pete's impressive legacy is gone forever due to the crass political manipulation of this company. If this footage were to be released for to me for public distribution, it could be a key assistance in mitigating the awesome damage the company is now suffering online. I nurtured that relationship and trust with Pete for eight years. For eight years to build up to those tapings. This included weeks of time with my wife and I fed and cared for Pete in Boulder as it otherwise would have been impossible for him impossible to get him to appear and perform as needed. Wow. It was shocking to have his life work legacy buried after his prodigious effort, after this prodigious effort we made. The reasons for the suppression have never been given other than that the current, other than the content was not focused enough on the secret space program. Oh my god. This is a grievous assault against my hard work and goodwill, as well as the entire life story of a man who arguably, who is arguably my number one insider. The noble thing for Gaia to do would be to allow me to access and properly edit and utilize that footage for public consumption. I hereby promise and guarantee in writing that any and all the verbal abuse Pete and I suffered during those tapings will be completely edited out and destroyed, or the company could provide me with versions where the examples of these incidents were already redacted. I do not want to say or produce anything negative about this company publicly or privately. The Pete Peterson tapings are of a critical a critical historical archive that cannot be replaced. Many, many episodes can be diluted from those tapings with proper editing and this material is literally priceless as a testament to man to a man who in time will be one of our greatest American heroes. Emery is another great hero, spent months living in a hotel with no support from this company, even as he nearly gave his life to resurrect its top show for another year. 
he endured multiple death threats, the theft of all his property, and the murder of his dog as an immediate result of having resurrected Cosmic Disclosure. Pete also had multiple death threats and the loss of all his property after coming forward in the same program, which was which has created sizable earnings for Guy as his flagship show. I was forced to do multiple fundraisers to bring Emory Critical Emergency funding while Guy counts her money, enjoying a surging stock price and skyrocketing subscriber count. This has caused widespread questions in my audience as to why your top talent is not being supported. I was forced to conduct at least three similar fundraisers for Corey and two for Pete Peterson due to due to the total lack of support for whistleblowers at this company, as they say in Mexico, no mas. Your legalist rich personal letter from me uh, to me from June 29th accuses Corey of attempting to obstruct disclosure while you effectively left my friends for dead. Emory is disclosure, and that should be honored and protected just as Pete's legacy must be. There is an honorable way for the company to conclude our professional relationship, and restoring the only footage of Pete's public testimony would be a huge leap forward for disclosure. If Pete's footage is not released, then Guy is directly obstructing disclosure from a very high-ranking, genuine insider who will soon be dead. Emery could very easily have been killed for being on your show. He still could. You lied to him. You brought him in, milked his talent, and left him to be torn apart by wild dogs. And now you are very obviously attempting to stockpile more episodes by acting as if we urgently need to do all these tapings. We do not. You directly aided and abetted my enemy, the Cabal, by being more than happy to gross some $4 million dollars a month, your latest quarterly, quarterly subscriber toll was announced as 430000 While forcing Emory Smith to live in hotels and rental cars, he barely had enough money for food, and you slammed a door in his face every time he asked. Emory and Olivia's desperate, impoverished, homeless life would have been impossible to afford had it not been financed almost exclusively by my emergency fundraisers, which have further degraded my public credibility and reputation, forcing me to raise money to properly pay your talents is not an acceptable business model. Oh, the board, our policies, the contract, we could never. Everyone gets the same. He made a mistake in his accounting. Please. The vast viewership figure I heard in Cosmic Disclosure was a 43% share of the audience with your latest publicly announced total subscriber count of 430,000. That is 184 uh, there's 184,900 viewers paying 9.95 a month. I'll do the math for you. That's that's 1 million 839,755 dollars gross per month. Many of you viewers don't even watch anything else, as I've often heard from various staff members. How do you think it looks to me and the audience that so little of that money was allocated in our direction that I was forced to beg the good people in my audience to keep my insiders alive on multiple occasions? Oh, guy pays everyone the same. Grassroots company. That's all. That's about all I could say in your defense. Okay, 430,000 subscribers is not at all grassroots. And you are out there announcing this publicly. Do you realize what a political nightmare this is? Or do you just not even care at this point? The reason why the numbers are dropping on my shows is because there's a growing unstoppable movement where people are being urged to unsubscribe from Gaia, even though they love me and my programs. As someone who has observed internet trends for many years, I do not believe there's any way to stop this from proliferating and becoming much, much much bigger short of my own resignation to give you a fresh start and releasing the Peter the Peterson footage as a gift to the audience the problem is that I'm very politically active even if I have been legally forced not to discuss politics on my shows anymore when people look at what I'm doing in the greater public sense and combine it with what GM is saying they're going to get very agitated both of us were well fair far better if my involvement ends before this spreads into a full-blown wildfire either way this letter constitutes formal legal notice that I will not be renewing my contract at the end of my term. I do not wish to negotiate on this point, nor do I wish to discuss my decision on the phone or in person, since verbal agreements are routinely shattered at this company. Ooh, damn, get him, David Wilcock. You are just like shitting on these noobs. Please let me know in writing whether or not I will be allowed to step down now 
or if I have to wait to the end of turn. Let me be clear that I have not wanted to aid and abet GEM's efforts in any way, nor do I, nor will I do so after I have left. Should I be asked about this, I would simply say that we parted for mutual creative differences and to pursue other opportunities. I must also retain the right to defend my spiritual and religious stance and clear my reputation in the event of significant public damage if need be. This may include a public statement that I disagree with the conclusions of ancient civilizations should that issue become a firestorm. I would let my audience know that I was not involved in writing or production of that episode. I was only asked certain questions in the taping without understanding how they would be used. Gaia has protected itself in my contract if my reputation were to be significantly damaged um, in the public eye by color of law those same legal rights should extend to me in the event that the company's own reputation becomes significantly damaged this is precisely what is now happening as soon as we will find ancient civilizations guy will appear to be a company that promotes and endorses luciferian agenda while even while providing disclaimers at the beginning of each episode that our company may or may not agree with what is being said, the masses will vote their own way and that disclaimer will not convince them. I will still need to get I will still need to work I will I will need to get to work in establishing the next steps that I will be doing to make sure that I still have sustainable income after this. To that end I have some very important business meetings I need to take in the last two weeks of July and will not be available to tape on July 16th and 17th. Contractually, Guy is already covered through at least the end of October with Cosmic Episodes I have shot with Emery and Corey. Even if certain episodes are combined, the legal threat with Corey still hangs over my head. Therefore, if you decide not to allow me to exit before the end term, we can finish out my contract with eight or more episodes at the dates that were allocated in August, providing that the legal threat from Corey's team has been successfully ameliorated by that. Again, my request is not to discuss this on the phone due to the enormous problems with integrity I've suffered over the last five and a half years.